missed the boat on Valentine's, uh, Valentine's reservations, you can still impress your date with a homemade dessert. So this morning we are learning how to make a chocolate crowd pleaser from the new book, Land of 10,000 Plates. Author Patrice Johnson joins us now live to tell us what she's cooking up. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? Happy Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day. And happy Galentine's Day. <laughs> and Galentine's Day, yeah. All right, let's talk homemade dessert. That's what you do. Uh, this is a way that you can kind of find your way into anyone's heart. And is it something that, even if you're a real novice at cooking or baking, that this, this recipe is something you can pull off? Absolutely. This recipe is something my mom always made when I was growing up because uh, if, if you have a decent pantry, you've got everything you need to make this recipe. But the flavors remind me a lot of those, uh, those lava chocolate cakes that were so big in the 90s that are making a comeback. Yeah. And this cake is really similar to that, but that you don't have to have any technique to make it. It's basically just throw things together. I've got <laughs> That's what we like to hear. So what are we throwing exactly. in that bowl right there? I've got flour, cocoa, baking powder, and I've got milk and melted butter and vanilla. I'm going to mix them together. And this is the basic recipe I think came from Betty Cracker or Betty Better Homes and Garden. And then to that, I'm going to add some chocolate chips and mix it all together and then put it into a one and a half quart casserole. So this is like a pudding cake? It's exactly that. Yep, it's a pudding cake. And it's magic. When you're a kid and you're watching your parent make this, you mm -hmm. think, that doesn't look like it's going to be very good. Because, <laughs> you know, it's kind of, kind of a, a goofy mix. But after it goes into the oven, it magically separates. And uh, the, the gooey chocolate goes on the bottom and the cake rises to the top. Right here I've got some powdered Excuse me, some brown sugar and some cocoa powder. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow, that's kind of fascinating about the chocolate chips. I didn't think about that because I thought, you know, they just kind of mix together. But no, they go to the bottom and the cake rises to the top. That is brilliant. And that yes. is, like you said, one of those lava cakes. My absolute all time favorite exactly. dessert is that. Exactly. But this is so much quicker and easier. And again, everything is in your pantry, really. Then I've got boiling water. If you wanted to add marshmallows instead of the chocolate chips, or you could add cherries, you could add coffee instead of the water. Huh. You can see the more liquid I pour on there, the more of that hot, spudgy goo is going to be in the cake. Then you pop it into the oven for about 45 minutes, 350. And you could also do individual. There's only two people in my house this year, so I actually cut the recipe into a quarter and made individual ramekins. And took those out of the ramekin this morning and added some whipped cream and berries. And it's a great, quick, easy dessert and super tasty. Wow. Mm. So you just add enough water or liquid to basically fill, fill out the cake pan. Yeah, uh, but the more, the secret is the more liquid you add, again, the more goo is underneath. And that's really what we love about this cake is the gooey, yummy chocolate uh, bottom. Mm. Or top, if you A moist it chocolate cake. Uh, I can't think of anything better for Valentine's Day. So g great options. And, you know, there's one idea. And you said the best part about this, are, these are things that you probably have in your pantry right now that you could just mix this up and, you know, maybe you've decided to stay indoors this weekend for good reasons. Yeah. There's a, a recipe idea for you. I love that. Good stuff. Drew, thank you. Patrice Johnson, thank you so much. Happy Valentine's Day. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Wow. You're welcome. So simple. Yeah. I love I, it. We love the simplicity of that, don't we? Mm-hmm. That's Patrice Johnson. Today's recipe will be, by the way, on our fox9.com website. Patrice's book. Land of 10,000 Plates has dozens of great recipes. You can also follow Patrice online at the Nordic Food Geek. I think actually, too, you know when they say, oh, you have all of this in your pantry, and like usually you're like, no, I don't. I don't have that. I don't have that. I think I actually have all of that. Me too. I might do that this week.